Five minutes later, we add in the rice there. Good. So this is a new style for rice, you know. I landed some fish, bro. Right? Come on, bunjal the meat and the rice, and then add the water. Huh. The type of pepper is duh. This is gonna be like pepper rice, but you not cook up rice. And you gotta keep turning this thing right before the rice catches the bottom. And today my boy Peter gonna learn how to grate coconuts with the coconut grater. Beautiful rice can be done. Beautiful. Can you better than this? What's going on everybody? Good morning. Another brand new morning. A beautiful morning here in or on the SC Cable River by the rocks. I got two more soldier here. Yeah. And by doing the thing. What's your name man? Albert. Albert. What you like in the rice? Nice, nice. Yeah. And Peter. Yeah. Peter, how oh, you got the chow me like that? You got left a little chow me under the water. Chow me don't boil in the air. No. <laughs> I Peter use a boss. He's <laughs> a chowmin boss. So, so now feel the one at the top now happen it hard. Oh scrap. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Peter cooking up some chowmin eh? Fish pro, Andrea, Yui, gone fishing. Alright. Me and then two boys are in camp. We gotta cook lunch. So we're gonna boil the rice. The man fish pro, he like cook his own curry. He wanna cook himself. So we're gonna prep the meat, we're gonna Prepare the labo, cut up, clean, and leave it for when fish bro come back to cook. And we're gonna boil the rice in the meantime. So it's another brand new day. I hope you see part one of the video. This is part two. The second to this day. Three for us in the back down here. One day to travel in. Yesterday we fish, last time by hunt. And look for them banner sketch. Is there a labo there in this box? All right, the man get two laba last night. So it's a laba curry today, see that? Uh-huh. And we got a full stack of things here, you know. The entire board of market. Mm -hmm. The all goodness, greenness and um, tomato, shallot, celery, everything you think of. And you know, we can't go down well without this, you know. <laughs> all right. I'm about you. We got something else somewhere hiding. About like, uh, goodness, so we don't hear we, we celebrating yet another adventure. Yeah, the way you we caught a lot of basho and um, dawalo, pirano. You know, we got some lokanani. See, we got some fish here, we got some pirano, we got some lokanani. Hey, fun time here, man. The fish not catching. As we would have expected it or like it to, because too much fisherman in the water right now. You have about six different fishing boats right now around this area catching fish. So we ain't catching as much as we would have liked, but we are thankful for the little we got. Yeah. We still holding on, we still trying. All right, so the beginning of a brand new day. This we setting up here. You know, we camp, hammocks, we got to cheer tonight, we got to relax and that kind of thing. Oh, look at you, we have, man. The man by a shot, man. Yeah. You, we got big things here, boy. Lovely, lovely. Couldn't get better. So, Peter, making some chow in there. And then later on, we cook the, the laban rice. Fry some fish for dinner. We got to knock something good. Hope you guys are being positive, you're being fun. Join me on yet another adventure. Nice. Peter do eating there though. <laughs> Frying up them things. You yeah, Chinese style man, you gotta fuck up everything you did. Alright, alright. Like the pepper, you look like a tomato. Uh. <laughs> so, if you want a Chinese fried rice or a Chinese chow <laughs> mein, you can allow me, you can get it here in Tripperoni. <laughs> this man is going to cook some Chinese chow mein there. The chow mein or lo mein, the chow mein? 
Oh, Chow mein. All right, good though. But well, it's veggie though. Yeah, yeah. Momentarily, we're gonna be frying some fish to go with the chow mein. I think we got the fish somewhere, you know. Cover down from the place. Yeah. Cover down there. All right, all right. Oh yeah, across there. All right. Look at the goodness there, buddy. Breakfast. Okay. This one, Peter. Cooking up a storm here, buddy. Man, when you talking about breakfast, and now next thing is fish got fried. So it's chow mein and fish. It's not chicken chow mein or chow mein chicken. Oh. It's fish chow mein. Got gotcha. you. Mm, yeah. Or chow mein fish. Whatever you want to call them. <laughs> when you're cooking, you're cooking to fry fish and chow mein. Soul food. Peter, yeah. you're nursing. You're waiting for the fish. Yeah, you see, mix up the fish and mix up in your stomach. So you might as well eat the fish later. Yeah. <laughs> lovely, lovely. <laughs> You told me I got I'll taste something else, no, don't worry. And we got some more fish boy. This fish is swimming, y'all. Look at part one of the video. This fish is swimming on the scene. And you we cut it right across in the um Eskimo River there. And now it's swimming in the Karahi. Can the fish get any fresher than this? Another set frying there. Of course, you know, I got to taste it and show you all the freshness. Mm. See how the fish, the flesh white, it's just fresh, no ice from the river, right across there to the Karahi, over there, into my mouth. Couldn't get better than this, eh? trust me. From the Karahi. You be soon. We gotta knock something good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want them some cutters here, buddy. Mm -hmm. Can't get any special on this or better than this, here, buddy. Alright. Here comes the man Peter UV returns. How much arowana you catch, buddy? Yeah. How many arowanas you got? I got some nice ones for sure. Lovely, lovely. We got we got the oil on there right now on the stove. So we frying our water next. Yeah, right away. Gotcha, gotcha. You choose, the, choose which one you want. I see you got a look and I need that to buy. Mm -hmm. This man do well. And arowana. But I should have come with you to see the action boy. But you know what cooking. <laughs> Let's see. What you we brought here boy. What? You we? You want to buy these or? Huh? Once. You want to buy them? Once I go up on the water, uh -huh. you must get curry. You have to get curry, boy. Yeah. Four look and only four are one. Look at the size, boy. About 10 pong. More than. More than 10 pong. Yeah, but never. Time uh. to weigh the fish. Which one do you feel more heavier? This one. All right, so. Hook you up there. Let's say about 13 pong. 13. Alright. One way to find out. 19 or something? Nah. There's a bass, do we? You got 11, 12, 12 pounds. 12 pounds. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Fish, boy. Fish on the line. This man doing well long here, watch. Man catch a two pong or three pong here, boy. Nice. Let's, let's curry, boy. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Big fish there. Rice finished there, boy. It's like when you're straining for wedding house. Boy. Wedding house rice, boy. <laughs> that gonna be enough, boy, for the couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. You sure, you we? Yeah, man. Next, lava curry with my lava fish pro now. Curry, we waiting on fish pro. Mm -hmm. For the, the fish pro come and do. Yeah, the man, the man curry. want cut the curry by himself. He he caught the labo, so he want to curry it. So we waiting for the man to come back to curry the labo. But for now, you and I gonna relax it. 
and enjoy the atmosphere, the scenery. While you're knocking some um, five years there, El Dorado can't get better by you. And here comes the man himself, Fish Bro. Nice, nice. We got four pounds today. Lovely, lovely. The Fish Bro got a half box of fish. You see the amount of fishermen in the water? Too many fishermen? Alright, the fish are bringing some fish there. And you can start cooking the lava curry. Andrea cleaning up the onion and the garlic. And across here, this man got the love potion. I told y'all all the time this man coming back to cook the lava curry. Well, he returned and it's done. Hmm. Onion and garlic frying up. Then we got some curry powder, jira masala. Oh, onion and garlic, you need to what, blend up one. Oh, yeah, gotta blend up onion and garlic, yeah. And some, you got some goat and um, duck masala there too. Yeah, yeah. Lovely, lovely. When you're eating, you're eating. And when you're cooking, you're cooking. Mm. Look at that. Lava in the pot. Mm -hmm, boy. Look at the last bit. By the time you see this video, my man. CEO Pint Heart, I'm a by Robin, Robin Sukraj, supposed to come on a trip here with me in Ciperoni. So hopefully, when the boys come, we catch some ducks, some labo, and some lokanami. Alright. Beautiful action, Beautiful. Now look at this boy. Cut us boy. I make it fall along, you know. The spoon of right? the spoon of cut through there, right? Mm -hmm. It's soft. Nice. Looking all good there, right? Mm hmm Smell good, buddy. Look this see. Okay. Cheers. Soft, right? And look out, ready. Papa. <laughs> the glass half of you. Can't get better than this. Half? You want it, please? No, no. Mm -hmm. I had no intention giving you. <laughs> Cheers. Love, right? Mm. Can never get better than this. <laughs> hmm. Nice time. Go on, on. We got some visitors here, man. Look at us. Look like tourists, you know. Come and check out the um, fishing grounds. Now, these boys are from Ivo Cramo. They are wardeners, and I'm really happy about this. That you know these boys they come and they check up on you, make sure that you have no illegal activities and stuff going on. Alright? So that is a good thing, it's a good sign. You know, I've been calling, I've been calling a lot now to regularize fishing in all the rivers in Guyana. But I'm happy that these guys they are coming and checking all the fishing camps, make sure everybody knows the law, brief them about the laws of Guyana governing fishing. I'm happy about that. So you know, they came by and say hello to us, check up with us, and now they're going to the other uh, fishermen. But in the meantime, this curry bubbling anyway. Thank you, Don. Don, there? Don, off the stove. Any restaurant can produce this, eh? I guess not. Can't. Curry don't bubble, eh? Time to lash. 
No restaurant can produce this, eh? trust me. This cooking in the jungle, authentic. Cheers. 5.30 p.m. Everybody out fishing. I am the chief security by the camp here. All right. The sunlight fading. You know, we cannot see the sunset from here because that's the east over there. And behind me, now, that's the west there, but it's a lot of jungle. No sunset. If I was in the water, then you would have seen the beauty of the sunset. But nonetheless, the view here is awesome. And the songs of the jungle, beautiful. All right, you're gonna get it. six o'clock bees and start making noise momentarily. Here comes the man fish pro and the first mate. And you we follow behind. What we got there, boy? We got things over. Yeah, we got some. Alright. Nothing much. So the water a little tight right now. Now here comes Yui. The sun set. Faded. Here you are, boy. Look at that. Look at the sunset in the background. You see that? Everybody now come back to camp. Nobody's going to hunt in a moment. And after that, we're going to rest down the night. Tomorrow, hopefully, we get some duck curry. If not, it's cook up rice and fry fish, either or. All <laughs> right? Good morning, neighbors. Good morning. Look at the beautiful sunrise there, boy. Wow. Beautiful sunrise from my um, hotel window here, my five star window. Can't get better than this. No. We didn't go out early morning to fish. This is what the camp looks like. That's a jungle over there. You know, by you, we at the back there. Another beautiful morning, the sun rising, bright as ever. Everybody now getting up. Nobody went on a hunt last night. Not sure what I caught. You're going to find out. Start out today, another brand new day. You're heading back to Georgetown today. All right? Join me and let me continue the adventure. Let's show you all some more of the sun rays there, boy. Six o'clock. Looking all beautiful, man. Place quiet. You can hear all the songs of the jungle. Yui, what are you cooking today? Duck curry. Duck curry. That means you caught some duck last night. Duck or ducks? Ducks. Ducks. Yes. So you have more than one. Yes. Lovely. Lovely. Now, this we ducks there, right? And my hunt last night. Lovely, lovely. Got you. The curry later on. Small striking up the fire there. Here we go. I'm going to lift the scene. Andrea still in the five star hotel. This morning we saw some monkeys. There's one right above here, a big one. And then two more small ones. We saw three. First time around, I'm seeing animal on this um, pizza island here. And over here, that limb there that goes up like this have bees, honey bees, a lot of them. So in case you come down here to camp, fishermen, be careful with the smoke. Because yesterday when we cook, the smoke actually triggered them. And they were all swarming around there, flying around there, you know. I don't know if they were angry with the smoke or what, but um just letting you know if you're visiting this piece of area here, know there's bees, the honey bees, the, the yellow one with the three black stripe on the back. How we know? Because they came down. We had the light. We had the light hang up here. And they came down to the light. And we can see them on the light. The one fish for going out and um try to catch a couple more fish in the meantime we're gonna cook 
instead of the curry and rice that's two cooking and we have one fire side we're gonna make one cook cook up rice with duck inside all right so it's gonna be a duck cook up for lunch fire light kahari on for the oil to heat there now this is one of the duck we put in in the cook up but then i want to fry up these guys here for us Have the garlic on in there. And I add in my meat. So I want to fry up the meat for us. Look at this, boy. This duck is flying last night, you know. In the car here today. Five minutes later, we add in the rice there. Good. So this is a new style for rice, you know. I landed some fish, bro. Right? The man bunja the meat and the rice, and then add the water. This is not the old tradition way, what I know. This is a new style of lamb from fish too. Yeah, yeah, I can bring the pepper and throw it in there. Yeah. Huh. The type of pepper is duh. This is going to be like pepper rice, but you not cook up rice. And you got to keep turning this thing, right? Before the rice catches the bottom. And today my boy Peter gonna learn how to grate coconuts yeah. with the coconut grater. So this is how I demonstrate to Peter. You take your legs and you clamp the, the basin and you go like this, right? And you just drag it here so. If the grater too far out, you can push it in a little, right? So you're basically you're dragging the shell across on the arm thing, right? You see it coming out there? Mm. Good, so you're gonna learn something today, right? Mm. All right. So let's see Peter in action. In the meantime, I turn the pot, by the time Peter settling. Good. The rice fry up and patch up there. Hey Peter, don't catch anything already there, my watch. You get in there, you get in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, caress your eye. That could even work. You're learning. Quick learner. Alright, so add some water in the pot now. To start by the rice and the meat. And then Peter can bring the coconut milk there. This is Bushman style. Good. So we're supposed to get cook up rice seasoning to add. But I don't have that. We have fish seasoning and chicken seasoning. So I'm gonna add this two into the pot. Look at the seasoning floating in the top here, boy. Look at the love. You see? Then fellas go bite the finger. Or the finger is gonna eat it. Trust me. Proper thing. Taking shape, come on. That's the cup of milk we need now. And we good there. Time. Peter, do anything there. Alright. See the man done great out. One of them there. Lovely. We are ready. Took down our tents. My man Yui is gonna remain. In the back down for another two days and he's gonna head out but well, we're leaving by midday all right we're heading back to georgetown we enjoying a couple of days in the wilderness in the jungle enjoying nature hey 
time for us to head back home, back to work. We got to work, you know. Each and every one of us have to work to make money, to do things. Because there's an old saying, money makes the world turns. I heard it from SpongeBob, um, Krusty Krab. <laughs> All right. Hey, the birds and the bees. We saw some monkeys earlier, I showed you all in the video up here. There are a few more. We never saw animals here before, but now they are here. We saw monkey, two different species, the Saki Winky and the baboon is there, right? The big one, the black one, the brown one. Yeah. We saw two different species here this morning. Bubble in there, boy. Look at the love there. Come, Peter, we got straight in the arm. Um... Peter did a great job here. So we now got to strain the uh, coconut milk. So, we're trying to get every bit of the coconut milk in this pot. So this is the magic portion of the coconut milk. Without the coconut milk, this pot can't taste nice. And coconut rice is an African dish, right? Guyana have six cultures, different cultures. And this is one. The African culture, this is their main, one of the main dish. But you know, we as Guyanese, we cook each other cultural food, but we add a twist to it. This may not be the traditional African way, but you know, we add a Bakdam style to it, man, a little twist to it. But it's cook up rice, end of the day, when you all done and eat and finish, it's cook up rice. Here comes the man, Yui, Peter Johnson. Now, I gotta show you how the man caught on the scene, you know. The boat look a little empty there, why? You be warm, they wear a cola, wa? Hey, you Look like play school. Place the coal this morning, no? Huh? Place the coal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you catch a cold. Nice fish, man. Now look at that, boy. What a size of the Bayara? Payara? Bayara. No, it's Payara, it's not Bayara. I think the word is Payara being with a P. I gotta check it back. What a P right size, boy? Wow. And this is too dangerous, man. You know, the, the Payara or Bayara mm -hmm. and the Pirano. That's too dangerous, man. One then bite is, and take off your finger. One bite your finger gone, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. You got and a nice catch. A good catch today. Lovely catch, lovely catch. Yeah. You got a nice um, tiger fish here too. Yeah. Dabalu, boy, we gotta get some Dabalu. Fried Dabalu. This one, Lolo. Hmm? No, there's a uh, sweet water catfish. This cat one, fish. the one you hold your hand there. Yeah, this is, you know, you get the blue salt water catfish. Yeah, this is. And this is the same, similar. Similar one, but this yes. one. Yes. But it's a grow big, though, boy. Yeah. You see how it looks? Yeah, everything yeah. like the this is the salt water catfish. Yeah. yeah, every single thing. Nice, nice. And well, the Amerindian let's call it a different name. Mm. Um, like a kumakuma. Kuma, so. okay. And you got a tiger fish there. Turn over the tiger fish, my friend, please. Let's show them what's a tiger fish. Yeah. That's a big one, boy. Yui, this got a wind festival by this year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Over about about 10 pounds, 14, 15. 14, 15 pounds. Alright, nice. Yeah, you got a fish still breeding there, is though? That's a, uh, a lack of forever. Boots. Oh, boots! Mm -hmm. The man's strong for days. This man don't die so easy, right? He can live on land for hours, right? Power? A whole day? Day. Whole half day? Whole day. Whole day this man is safe on, on land. Kali boots. Different species. Strong bad like Hassa. Hassa could live a whole day with the water. All right, so we got a nice catch there. Plus, we got a pot of things boiling there. You know, you see the smoke? We got things bubbling. Don't you worry. All right, All right so I the know goodness. Is a, is a real oh, cook yeah. Yeah, yeah, the man. Yeah, yeah, the man cook. The man cooking good things today for y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice, cook. nice. I've been glad if you've been do kumek. Kumek at school, right? Yes, you cook man. You yeah, cook man. Nice, nice. Check nice though. All right, so hey, the adventure continue, boy. But look at this. This fish tea boy. Look at that. Wow. Nice. Hot. A lot of fish, boy. 
fire blazing there by the coconut shell. That's a result of the coconut shells. Fire blazing there, burning. The fat bubbling. The place kind of humid, but nonetheless, with the trees keeping you a little bit cool. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Cook up rice finish. Couldn't be any better than that. The cook up finish, we lash in lunch at 10.30 a.m. But nonetheless, we hit in the road by 12 o'clock. So we charging up right now to begin the journey. The man Fish Pro is back two hours early. I'm not sure what's going on. Looks like he ain't catch nothing. You caught a cold. Let's see. You got some monster you want to show me? Lovely, lovely. Nice monster. You got a five pound today? No, we got more. Six point nine two pounds, almost seven pounder. Nice, big fish. All right, this is the fox right here. Six point nine two pounds. Mm -hmm. Fish, but now find the fish. So, man, I can some lunch and he going now back on the fish. Time to get a review from the crew as to how the food work. What going on now, man? By this, you know, it work. <laughs> Damn, like a tachi the plate, oh. The show going on, man. Well, good. The cook up is probably the best, but yeah. Proper, right? Proper. Proper. Fresh. Yeah. You eat what you say, boy? Yeah, yeah, I live by the up. chef. Yeah. Cook up eat nice. Dog cook up. Now. On the island. Yeah, from the island to the Karahi. Yeah. But let's tell you a trick of the game. Now, they have a plan. This is the first time I cook in the back, <laughs> They're trying to tell me the food eats so sweet that I must cook again. But then I know I got more smarter sense than them. <laughs> I know the food ain't good, so I am, I am not going to cook again. Nah, so Fish Pro, you're going to continue your cooking. Nah, We're not going to change nothing. <laughs> no. How much vote we get? Yago was smart, me all five Yago was said the food is good, so I got to cook again. Eh eh, I too smart for that. Try your hand one more time and then we going to know. I'm going to show salt in the curry this time, boy. <laughs> too much salt. Alright. So, me going to cook again. <laughs> Fish Pro said, what are the best cook up? Peter? Is you cooking or how it work? What? Um, come to cook. Yeah, man. This is this is. You good? Yeah, man. Like the one that you eat the other day? No, this is spaghetti peas. This one better? Yeah, man. Fish, first, stop cook. <laughs> what do you say, why? It's here. Yeah, I'll go with three more rounds. Three more rounds? <laughs> Take the curry, why? Take the curry, it's yours. <laughs> we got things there, though. Know. We got enough things for them, man. Nice. Fish, bro, Peter said he cook up eat better than the one I eat from you, boy. Me, you know what happened there. Proper, yeah. Nah, nah. nah, nah this yeah, I think I'm gonna make me cook again. I don't, this is the problem, they watch. Fly, kill. Uh huh. Where you call, where you call, smart man? Yeah. John. John Smart. I think it's bite hot bar. That and the Kabora. Mm -hmm. We get some serious bite up, you know, the Kabora. I know where Kabora fly come from. I know let them had it, but it's here now. It moves. And the John Smart. We never had that here before, you we. But they're here now. <coughs> Probably because of the sun. Please give me a plate for me. Watch, watch. Okay. See that? The thing was good for real fish for eat twice. No, I believe you because you eat twice. Once fish for eat twice, it tastes good, trust me. Trust this man me. never eat two times? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Only when food good, this man is eat proper, eat double. If the food didn't taste good, he just, he just leave back half. I know his style. Anytime a food don't eat good, this man is left back half in the plate. Trust me. What's your boy there? Do your thing, do your thing, boy. Charge up again. Charge up, charge up. We all load up and about to head back to Georgetown. And in the meantime, I buy Peter picking up the garbage, right? So we're cleaning up a mess. We're not just leaving no garbage around. And I appeal to everybody who visit this landing or any other landing or any other area, wherever, any part of Guyana, any part of the world. Please take your trash with you. Pick up your garbage. Pick up your mess. All right. I might picking up the stuff there. Then you can burn it later. We about to set sail to Chinese Man Landing. Then to 58 Linden. Then Georgetown. Home sweet home. Now it's 11:15.
We should get home by 11 p.m. tonight. It's always hard to say goodbye. A rock. Oh yeah, there's rocks here. It's always hard to say goodbye to be camping ground. Look over there, got one of the rocks showing, you see? Show it there. Go with the car now. Take your time, take your time go light, tilt your engine. So you gotta be careful when you water low like this, there are rocks in this river here. So you gotta be careful when you drive. Supposed to catch one here, boy. We ain't cannot make the rock, so Uncle Ami and the partner they're home too. They have the same story to tell fish in there. Yeah. Okay now buddy, what's up, what's up? <laughs> yeah, so we're back to London. We leave in Chinese man's London. We're heading back to George. We begin the journey now. Back to George. So. Hey. Beautiful as can be, man. We should get home by 12 o'clock. Now it's 2 o'clock. 9 hours to 10 hours to get home. So by 12 latest we're gonna reach home if there's no traffic and I'll go as well. Alright. Couldn't get better than this. Fun trip. You enjoy your trip? Yes. Sure? Alright. Fish for enjoy your trip, right? Yeah, yeah. Proper, proper trip? Yeah. yeah. Alright. We passing through Frenchman. Here we are. It's a gold mining area here where the gold miners come out and get supplies, you know, the groceries and the drinks, the fuel, the beers, you know, they come out the party too, hang out. See, Diana Geology and Mines Commission have an office here as well. Made it to Mabura Junction here. Once you're passing by, you gotta stop by the police outpost and check in. Now, ahead there, you make a left, head into Madia. Alright, there's a little town area. Yeah, man, cool, cool. And this way, you have to let him. Alright, so. Hey. Couldn't get any better than this. See, we pass it through this tongue here. This look, look like a. Um, we pass it through in Texas, you know, we wanted the tongues. So, at this junction, that one side takes you to Madia. And straight ahead takes you to let him. Or to Ciperoni, Chinese man um, landed. So number 58. Yeah, yeah. Village. Yeah, yeah. Like. Beautiful as can be, man.
we get him gas and some food and then we continue in the journey number 58 village or mile 58 village we have falls gas yeah, station here a lot of tractors going in the back there man the fiat Over here, they get food. Go ahead, I worry. Over here, at night, they get food here. During the day, they get food up there. And they get tow truck. In case you want, they break down in the back dam on the route trail, they get tow truck service. They got nice fried rice, cook up, chew fish, lava quarry war. What the hell, Patty? This is Pepper? Wild cow pepper pot. Fish curry, the provision. Enough nice to see you. Wow. Oh. Full work, same man, you can get. A one stop shop. And this place, they to service everybody passing by. I have some nice squash, fry banga miri, sweet potato. Look over here. Cook a bit Which better. I can cook up by. Cook a bit better than a man food. Yeah, buddy. They cook, oh, yeah. cook in love, you know. <laughs> you cook up, cook with love. Doctor, my mom. You ain't getting money, duck with it on Andrea. <laughs> so we taking a break here. We fill up. We lashing we little dinner, and then we gonna journey on to Georgetown. Leaving mile fifty eight village. Come again soon, Great Falls. All right. I don't know why they call this place 58 mile or mile 58, but we learned about this village 58. So we just go by it. 58. That's it. Somebody who knows about it could brief us in the comment why this village get a name mile 58. Now we're trying to capture that sunset but the trees with the rich hydro already? Fish for your fly or it's a hydro? Sure it's a my partner here was fishing real by rockstone the man. The man is a fan of the channel too though. trees and I see much of it but uh, nonetheless you see a little piece there all right I thought we reached Hydro Road already but made a mistake here Not Hydro. so this is a new road built here Arisaru Quarry Inc Arisaru Quarry Inc at the back there okay there's something new the see a piece of the sunset there as well can life get any better than this? I guess not. Look where I am. As we passing by. Hello, hello. Good evening. Now, what y'all put these cherries here for? For me? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm making some some juice for that later on. Cherry drink. Everyone that would like to have some cherries. Five oh, five yeah. hundred bag. Wow. Fish bro. Buy what happened? My record. Buy. Don't eat my weight now. Buy. It's always a weight. <laughs> This man is so hungry. Can't wait. But well, look, cherry, you want some cherry juice over? Okay. You sure? All right. But well, look, hey, good to see y'all. Where my friend him? Where you father? See you again. He just left. Just left. The man tired. He cooked all them food yesterday. Yeah. I know. But look at the look at the size of this spot here, boy. Ooh. Let, let's see the goodness in this spot. Uh huh. Ah, you can smell the greatness here. 
Uh huh. That's a chicken foot one. This one is. Chicken foot. This is the beef and cow wheel and cow fish. Chicken wow. foot. We have a fish here. Snapple. Snapple fish. Snapple mm -hmm. fish. I just smell it. Chicken cook up with black eye, red peas, and channel. Channel. And we got over here now. And over here, some beef cook beef up. Beef cook up. I mm -hmm. look, these pots are almost empty there, but if I go around, this food, this food had to be tasting good. <laughs> Trust me. And you know, every time I pass it and they open, I always stop because I get in my food right here, my dinner. Now, y'all have something coming up. Yes, we have two slime heritage. Yes. And DJ Tapa, DJ Barry, and DJ Smith. And Castro Band. Castro, oh, Castro Brothers. Yes. Lovely, lovely. Couldn't get, couldn't get better. Look, I look here. I got another my number one fan here by all the way from UK, right? Yeah, man. And this man reminding me he was in one of the videos already. Uh, Say no to violence against everyone in that yeah, video. Really. Yeah. Pleasure meeting you again, man. Yes. You want to say hello to anybody? Yeah, man. Chris Jones from UK. You don't know. Guyanese to the right. bone. Love it. Well, no, it's Guyanese. It's true the bone. Guyanese to the bone. It's true the bone. Corrections. <laughs> yeah, my brother. Pleased to meet you, right? Hello. Yeah, man. So, we get what thing here? Fish bro. How the soup taste? Yeah, I want it. You sure? Yeah, I want it. Oh. If this man said what good, believe him, it work good. Trust me. <laughs> Cannot get better than this. Eh? Look at this place, basically. Look at all these trucks. Guyana, right now it's under construction boom, you know. Look at it. It's about 9 o'clock now. 9.15. And look the amount of trucks, you know, traversing the road to and from by. Hey, we on the rise, you know. All right. So we have to make the stop here and get me food. Life couldn't get better. It's a pleasure. Hey, okay, Adi, we got three A W for the winners here, right? You have right? that was the warrior. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's chicken curry. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> if Diana Amazon warrior win, y'all cooking chicken curry yourself for one chicken day at least. Chicken curry. <laughs> All right, great, great. And if, if. I think if so. Guyana in win, right? We making curry chicken. No! <laughs> chicken curry. Chicken curry. All right, man. All right. Let me see who go win. Don't you worry. I hope. I hope that Guyana win this year. Long overdue. Yeah, long overdue. Long overdue. We are we are run up, we are runner up for so many times. We gotta be champion this time, man. Come on, come on, guys, Amazon Warriors. All right. I know, right? It was a pleasure meeting you all. All right. Was a pleasure. Always a pleasure to have you here. Yes, I mean I always want to be here, man. I love the food. All right. Couldn't get better. Oh, I know, right? So hope you guys enjoy the day with us. Hope you had fun. I want to thank you for the privilege of your time. Take care of you and each other. God bless you all. Peace out. And I will see you on the next adventure.